All right, so I'm back. Uh, I don't know if you were following the last video. I just want to let you, uh, give you an opportunity to get to know me. Again, I'm a pretty private individual. I go to the office, I don't really say much about my personal life and who I am. So this will give you an opportunity to get to know me a little better so that you can make a decision as to whether or not, you know, you want to get to know me. Again, it's purely up to you. This educational assessment is bi this educational assessment is bidirectional. It's bidirectional. Again, there will be a day when I decide to start naming the names and allowing you the luxury of knowing the folks that I've worked with over the course of my life. And I'm going to give you an example of, I'm going to let you know um, all about them, their management style, and I'm going to go through the list, and we'll just pick them, we'll check them off one after the other. That's down the road, that's in a few years now. I'm going to continue along in my analysis of the management styles of these firms, and um, again, um, you know, we're just one CEO after the other. Ping, ping. We just pick them off, one after the other. And we just got to watch how their management style transcends down, down the corporate ladder. And we just find out where you pick them off. You know, there's always maybe assistant VP, the VP level, the managing directors, controllers, all that shit, right? We just pick them off, one after the other. I mean, listen, if they're going to be putting you know, like a Camerano in charge over in Hoboken, you know, if they're going to put a, an Anthony Weiner in Congress or Brett Kavanaugh in the Supreme Court, then we have carte blanche. I mean, you want to talk about shooting fish in a fucking barrel. For Christ's sakes, if this is how they're going to stay at the firm, then we're in a really good position at 50, right? If, if, if that is how it staffs, do we really have anything to worry about? Think about it. All is well. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's blatantly obvious. Mismanagement is blatantly obvious when you see, I'll use those three individuals. I'll use the local, well, let's use four. I'll use two local individuals and I'll use uh, one uh, national individual and then one regional individual. We'll start with Brett Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh is on a Supreme Court. He shouldn't be working in fucking McDonald's with a psychological abnormality like that. Then we got Anthony Weiner, who's a congressman. A congressman. He's obviously retarded, right? He has a mental illness, yet he's writing laws. Then we'll talk about we'll talk about two locals, John Youngclaws from Bayonne, New Jersey, who's the constable. Then we got we got that fucking crook, and he was in cahoots with half the fucking people here, and half the whole positions of power in this fucking district. And then we got uh, was it Mark Camerano? Camerano from Hoboken, another Hudson County fucking crook. They breed them here. This is why I love, I'm so glad I came back to Bayonne. This is, this is where I exist. This is my, my forte. I, I can spot a fucking crook like that. I can spot a crook like that. They're all over the fucking place, you know? You know, and, and the funny thing was, when I was younger and I was in the industry, I saw all these fucking contractors fucking greasing all these fucking mid-level managers and uh, kicking them back with all this fucking money. I said to myself, no, 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 I'm going to learn the, the business of fucking kickbacks. I'm going to learn the business of kickback schemes. I prided myself. That was my endeavor. I wanted to find the, the, the way to see how it worked, how these fucking construction fucking scams work and how, it, how its tentacles reach into, uh, right up to the highest levels of uh, government. Like, for example, um, what was his name? Uh, the Department of Homeland Security uh, Director that they fucking put in place over there. Bernie Carrick, huh? There's another one, right? Fuck, he came up the ranks too, right? But he came up the fucking ranks of the NYPD, all the way up to fucking commissioner. And what did he do? He fucking took a free kitchen from contractor, and what happened to him? Right in the fucking oven. And they're gonna come one after the other, because the apple don't fall too far from the fucking tree, right? They all go, that's, all, that's how they all go. I shouldn't say all of them. All the misguided apples. Fucking Bernie Carrick to boot. Huh. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And just recently, that fucking, that dude that used to work at the fucking YMCA, that inspector, he, he just, so he's taking a plunge too, right? Didn't he try to fucking extort some money too? And they'll let him. The, the minute they fucking ask for it, they're gonna give him a couple bucks, right? Throw a couple bucks in that envelope on a sneak. Next thing you know, whew, right? To sing sing. Tell it to the fucking judge. Area plans. There's more to this than just the nuts and bolts. 
there's so much more to it, right? Right? God, I hope this fucking message has some reach. <laughs> Fuck. This crime in architecture. This crime in low-income housing. This crime in the welfare system. This crime. <laughs> crime plays into this. Crime. Listening devices. Eavesdropping. All that stuff plays into this. Kickback fucking schemes. Watch. Be careful. They listen, man. Big Brother's always fucking watching. And I have to say, that when they when they go down, there's a bit of satisfaction. There's a bit of satisfaction. I'm not even like Cohen is. A bad, bad example. Cohen is just a naive lawyer. But see, Cohen had to do that stint because that's mandated in this industry for lawyers. Any, any lawyer worth their salt should know that if you really want to get into the big power broker player position, you're going to have to do some time. You may even have to get to Spark. You may even have to get to Spark to play this game. You may even have to get to Spark to play this fucking game. It's a very, very elite group. It's a very elite group. So you can file all the fucking motions you want. <laughs> it's, it's not a game for, for the faint of heart. Again, I'll say it. If you don't want to play, go home to your fucking mother. All right, so. Listen. It's just the way it is. That's uh, in a New York minute. That's what I offer, man. I came through that market. That's where I was trained. And I kept my mouth fucking closed. Okay, so view templates. <laughs> apply view template dialog box. Choose area plan from the list of view templates. Click OK to apply the template and close the dialog box. Okay, Bugsy, take the boys and surround the house. I don't need a fucking lawyer. I'm not like, who, who, who's, who quoted that? He doesn't need a lawyer. Have you ever been told by a judge? <laughs> has a judge ever told the prosecutor? Have you ever been in a courtroom where a judge looked at you as a defendant, <laughs> looked, looked over and said, and, and denied you a lawyer and demanded that the prosecutor immediately come up to the fucking stand <laughs> and try the case right then and there? Have you ever been through that justice system where you weren't even allowed a lawyer and then the judge fucking screamed at the fucking prosecutor to come up here and prosecute you right now? Have you ever had to go through that too where there is no justice whatsoever and, be, and, and, and enjoy it? And enjoy it? Have you ever seen that? I have. Holy shit, man. When I had nothing to do, I just used to spend my time in court. Not necessarily because I was supposed to be there, because I liked being there. I studied my ass off, man. Trust, that's what I'm trying to bring to this table. I'm still selling myself. I've been, you can name it. The last court I'm going through is a probate court, right? It's going to be probate at the end of the day anyway. But until that day, we, we got to get through this, this text. There's so much about the HVAC world we got to get through. So it's not your fault, it's my fault. I'm the one that's going off on a rant on my little satellite radio station. Now, again, I hope I still have friends in this fucking town. Because I'll leave you. If, if I don't, listen, if you don't want to be my friend anymore, you little fucks, and you want to flat leave me like you did 20 fucking years ago, and you want to keep flat leaving me, okay, and sit in your restaurants and not, and not want to talk to me, you flat leaving fucks, I'll go back to the city and see my other friends. And I'll leave you in the fucking lurch to sit here in your little municipal fucking circles playing leapfrog with your fucking parking tickets. Fine fare, I said. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate it. This is a corporation, right? Isn't this town a corporation? A corporation? Wasn't this town incorporated? It means it's a business. It doesn't that, isn't that what it means? It means that this town is a business. Now, either uh, I live here, right? So by proxy... I work here too. So the sooner you fucking understand that, the better off you'll be. I'm in your corporation whether you like it or fuck or not. Whether you pay me or not, I'm in your corporation. So deal with it. Well, don't. <laughs> I don't care. 
I'll leave, I'll come back, whatever the fuck it takes. Listen, I'm not in the business of slandering, but if I get fucking bored and, and I get, you want to keep screaming me, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking, I'll leaflet this fucking town every single fucking time. I'll leaflet it every single time. One more you just commit a fucking crime, I'll make sure everybody fucking knows about it. I'll put a print press right behind my fucking desk. I'll just become the damn fucking community news. Listen, I see is rising up the corporate fucking ladder, okay? And I have a few people, I still remember who they are, okay? Heed my advice. Heed my fucking advice. You see what happens. You, you got the, the cops coming up, becoming politicians. You got the politicians, activists coming up, becoming politicians. They're meeting at the top. And then all they do is put each other in fucking jail to stay in office. It isn't really hard to fucking discern what's going on. Now, that's why, listen, it's much better to exist within the judicial system. Whatever level it is that you exist in within your ju in the judicial system is probably a good idea. Regardless of exactly what position that is, but somehow find your way into the judicial system. Whether or not, whatever law you want to apply, apply it, okay? Listen. There are lots of amendments, and there are lots of annotations, and there are lots of laws. And alternate side of the, alternate, alternate side of the street parking is one of them. But there are also other laws that apply. Like, come on, anyone? Anyone? Well, the Newtonian laws, right? It carries a sentence. Doesn't it? It carries a sentence up to a term of. Ay vey, does anyone know anything about barometric pressure and temperature? It carries a sentence in this degree, silly rabbit. In the degree, there are degrees aggravating and mitigating circumstances, and they carry a sentence. Now, I have carried some sentences along the way that have reverberated within my psyche because a few people have decided to recite them to me. So I have had to carry their sentences within my own neurology, within my own neuro circuits, and I have had to carry those sentences all by myself because I can't administer justice. I can't lock people up behind bars. I can't uh, put Charles Bronson's hat on and go around town picking off my fucking enemies. And neither can you. I'm talking to you folks over in the city looking to topple the statues. You can't. That's the thing about justice. If you, if you, don't, if you don't believe in it, then you're going to suffer uh, you're going to suffer from it because uh, some people say that justice is blind and um, it could very well be because the only blind uh, the only blind person in that scenario is you you just don't see that you're breaking the law the law will come to you when you break it it doesn't show up it just shows up out of nowhere and it just shows up because you're looking for it I've learned that lesson I've learned that lesson I went looking for the law, and I found it. <laughs> it was right there to greet me. It's there for you. So you. You'll walk right into the handcuffs all by yourself. They won't come looking for you. You'll, you'll, you'll show up. You will show up. Fascinating study. And it's synonymous with this. That's why I like engineering and architecture and construction. I like this industry because it's, it's so synonymous and it is the, the, the word association, the words are exactly the same. There's absolutely no difference between a degree in the judicial system and a degree in a scholastic uh, achievement. There's no difference whatsoever. No difference. It's the same thing. A degree is a degree is a degree. It's just another degree. Again, I'm just trying to teach you. Taylor, Corey, Michael, Faith, Scott, Kyle. Taylor, Scott, Corey, Michael, Faith, Julia, and Kyle. Listen, I know, I know it's been 20 years since I've, you know, decided to join Mother Earth. But listen, you have to understand, don't fight City Hall. There's absolutely no reason to fight City Hall. They're there to protect you, okay? 
I know, I know. There's a long line at the welfare office. I understand that. I know, I know. But don't begrudge it, okay? Don't hold malcontent. This is not an insurmountable task for you. Somehow derive from this diatribe anything that you can use to inspire you to keep going forward. There's no reason to give up, okay? You'll find a you'll find a happy place. You'll find a place for yourself in life. Somehow, some way, you'll find who you are. It'll become apparent, you know, exactly where you fit in in this huge kaleidoscope that we're going through. You'll 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 recognize your strengths, and when you when you do, I want you to run with them. Okay? Don't listen to the negative folks out there. Don't listen to them. They're just going to try to chop you down. Surround yourself with positive individuals that share the same mantra, that are all looking to speak the same language, that aren't in the business of begrudging and belittling. Aspire to make others great, and you'll get a certain satisfaction from that. And it doesn't necessarily have to be you. If you can somehow rub off and make an impact on somebody else, you'll find that that returns dividends to you, because then you know that you at least led a life that wasn't take, take, take. You gave something back. If, all you, if you go through life and all you do is take and not give, and what kind of life is that? And if, and if, it, and, and if all you give is, is misery and pain, and then you know what? Then you've wasted your life, right? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to spend your days talking about everybody else and all the shit they're doing wrong, right? Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself and how you can make yourself better. But be careful along the way because everyone's going to have a handout. Everyone's going to have their hand out. And if you decide to go the philanthropic route, well then, so be it. If philanthropy is for you, you may find a certain level of satisfaction there. You may find a certain level of satisfaction, satisfaction in philanthropy. But, God is my witness, crime don't pay. So listen, fuckface, somehow get to DMV, Put the plates on the fucking bikes, look over both fucking shoulders, pay your fucking insurance, pay your fucking registration, don't drive while you're suspended, or you'll go to fucking jail, okay? I already noticed two AAA fucking batteries by your bikes, okay? I'm afraid you're already, you're charged with something before you even get there, okay? Those bikes need fucking license plates. I know you don't listen. Yeah, I get in the car with you, you don't want to fucking listen to me. Shh, you say. We don't want to talk about that. What do you want to talk about, I say? Something else. You know, listen, okay? I know, I, I've been gone for 10 years. I know you don't visit my grave, but please, as God is my witness, now that you've finally decided to listen, take these words of advice and, and run with it, because, you know, if not, you'd be a fucking idiot. <laughs> you can be a fucking idiot. I don't want that to happen. I don't want you to be just, um, I don't want you to be miserable in life, I don't. Okay, that's my goal. So, I'm hoping this wire reaches. Now, again, applying a template. I'm applying a template. Click OK to apply the area template. I may have lost my place. You see what happens when you're worried all the time about your kids? Okay, so did it apply? No. If I hold both of these down and you look at the template, I don't see it. Area plan, apply area to plan. Apply it. Now it's applied. Okay. Ordinarily, you get some colors, but this isn't set up yet. Right? And you will get colors in life. Sometimes the spectrum is so fast that you can't keep from deviating from center. And the important part in this flux that we're in is to stay focused. You see how I go off on tangents left and right when I'm trying to focus on conveying this information? Because I'm worried about you. That's the reason why I'm going this way and this way. Because I'm worried about you seven and, and Elizabeth and Madison, not the other fucking rest of them. They're obviously fucking deaf <laughs> and dumb and blind. And they got to grease up the ass. So I'm trying to tell you that life is gonna fork you to the left and the right. There's devils, there's devils and snakes in the fucking grass. You gotta keep those blinders on, dude. And, and this goes for Jake as well, right?
fucking Sears and the other fucking the rest of them. The rest of the whole group down there. You, you guys, you kids, you, you think you know everything. All right? You don't. You don't know everything. You don't know everything. All you kids, you're fucking nuts. You don't think, we think, I'm 51, I, I don't have anything to bring to the fucking table. You don't think I've been around the block? First of all, Corey, when you drink, you get fucking bigger beer muscles than Mike Tyson. Do you have any idea how many times you get knocked out? And then get dragged off to jail? Wake up in a fucking jail cell with a black fucking eye? Because you decided to fucking flex your testosterone and Hoboken? You weigh a buck ten soaking wet. Are you out of your fucking mind? You better watch, bro. You get into that age where you start going to the bars and there's going to be girls and there's going to be alpha males and all that shit. And you have to go through all that. And if you ain't fucking ready for it, you're going to pay the fucking price. I don't want to see it happen to you, okay? I don't want to see you go down that route, getting your ass kicked in fist fights and jail and all that shit. You know, alcohol, you drink responsibly, okay? You're growing up really fast. Now, Amari, you want to go out and buy a fucking Mustang? You know, you better fucking pay attention, kid. Anyway, where was I? Area plans. What do you think? I saw the fucking temple to pod. The temple to pod. The area temple. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm getting better. Because at least I'm within close proximity to them. So, God forbid, anything happens, I can at least be around. Lord knows. It wanted me out of the picture. It. And it doesn't mean any individual. It wants you out of the picture. Life. Life, right? Eventually, we're all going down for the dirt nap. It wants you. And I think it's a she. It wants you. Heed my advice.